Hello everybody. I want to show you my Harbor Freight motorcycle lift that I purchased and I did some modifications to the uh, hydraulic cylinder jack that was in there. Um, I took out the standard or the original bottle jack that was in there and replaced it with a air hydraulic a little bit overkill bottle jack but it fits in there quite nicely <clears throat> what I had to do is take the cutoffs off and cut the cut the brackets that were mounted on the cross member underneath the square tubing down there and in order for to get the new bottle jack in there and I made a little cradle this is the first model that I had, and I realized that the base plate I had was too thick and it was not giving me uh, the tolerance I needed to fit the new bottle jack in there, so I made a new one, minus the half inch thick plate. I just used some eighth inch uh, sheet metal that I had. <clears throat> and this is some one by a quarter inch steel stock that I made a little, little frame around it. I cut out a little gusset, that's for the valve, the relief valve on the jack. And this area here is for uh, well, the pump part, the handle, the pump handle that I will not be using anymore. You can, you can still use it, you can stick a jack handle underneath there and, uh, if you don't have any air, but <coughs> demonstrate it here, lift it up. Works pretty good. I uh, was still able to utilize the foot control to, to lower the the lift when not in use. Had to do a little modification. Pretty much all the linkage that was with it that came with it, uh, I was able to use except I had to add in a short piece to uh, make it work with the new bottle jack. Um, the bottle jack is a 12 ton jet. Uh, it's a little bit overkill. Believe me, this is still only a thousand pound lift capacity motorcycle lift. Do not try to lift anything more than what it originally designed for. The reason I went with that jet 12 ton is because of the size and it fit in there okay. Perfect. Not really perfect. I had to modify my wheels. The bottom or the bottom of the jack was on the ground so I had to make a I had to lift the wheels up an inch and I took my cutoff saw again and cut the existing axle uh, rod or shaft that was on there shut it off and then I had some channel some three inch by one inch channel that I welded some more uh, uh, so four inch piece of threaded rod and then I just screwed a nut on there but yeah it works pretty good I will take some more videos here. Uh, I'll give you some more close-ups here. And uh, my next look for another video here coming up soon. Thanks for watching.